Once upon a time in a bustling village nestled in the rolling hills, there lived a young and ambitious farmer named Koji. Koji had a dream, a dream to cultivate the most bountiful crop the village had ever seen. He toiled day and night, working tirelessly under the sun, nurturing his crops with utmost care. One day, as he was tending to his fields, an old wanderer passed by. The wanderer was known for his wisdom and ability to see beyond the ordinary. Koji, feeling tired and yearning for guidance, approached the wise wanderer and said, Sir, I have worked so hard, and yet my dreams of a grand harvest remain unfulfilled. What am I doing wrong? The wise wanderer looked deep into Koji's eyes and said, The biggest enemy of your success is not the weather, the soil, or the strength of your arms, it's your own mind. Koji was puzzled, my mind. What do you mean? The wanderer smiled and began to tell a story. Once, there was a powerful and persistent storm that swept through the village, destroying crops and causing chaos. Amidst the destruction, there stood a tiny willow tree. It swayed and bent with the fierce winds, but it didn't break. People marveled at its resilience, and they asked the tree, how did you survive when others fell? The willow tree replied, I understood the art of bending without resisting the wind. Koji contemplated the story, still not entirely sure of its relevance to his predicament. The wise wanderer continued, Your mind, my dear Koji, is like that willow tree. To succeed, you must learn to bend with the challenges and uncertainties that come your way. Your mind can be your worst enemy when it resists, when it clings to expectations, and when it refuses to adapt to changing circumstances. Koji pondered these words and realized the truth in them. He had been too rigid in his thinking, too focused on a fixed idea of success. The wanderer's wisdom began to take root in his mind. Over time, Koji learned to be more flexible in his approach to farming. He adapted to the changing seasons, adjusted his planting strategies, and embraced the ebb and flow of nature. As he did, his harvests grew more bountiful, and he became the most successful farmer in the village. Koji had conquered his biggest enemy of success, his own mind, and in doing so, he discovered the wisdom of the wanderer's words. He realized that true success was not about stubbornly pursuing a single path, but about adapting and flowing with the ever-changing river of life. And so, Koji's fields flourished, and his fame spread far and wide, not only as a skilled farmer but also as a wise man who had harnessed the power of a flexible and open mind. The village learned the profound lesson that the biggest obstacle to success lay not in the external challenges they faced but within their own minds. From that day on, the villagers understood that to achieve their dreams, they must learn to bend like the willow tree, adapting and flowing with the winds of change. The wise wanderer's visit had sowed the seeds of success not only in Koji's fields but in the hearts and minds of all who had listened to his tale.